Hey guys, Shadefire returning once again with episode 27 of Let's Play American McGee's Alice. We are now in Majestic Maze, the very beginning of the uh, Red Queen's territory. Hopefully we're get, starting to get real close to the final confrontation. Also, I see absolutely no reason not to use this staff at all times. Other than when I run out of magic. Please don't hit me. Ooh, he's got a 360 spin. Don't disappear before I get there. Yes. Oh, wow. Ah, where'd you come from? No, oh, this is not going to end well. Lose him in the maze. I haven't actually tried out our blunderbuss yet either. Where'd they come from? Hey, come here. I need some magic. Oh shit, they shoot sh homing hearts. Alright. Let's get the sneak on him. There we go. Oh, damn it, I killed myself. Well, this is certainly a maze-like level, which makes sense because of the name. But we're going to try going this way this time. Okay, I guess those aren't... They were twitching. I could have sworn they were twitching. I'm digging this laser inflicted death. Might make uh, combat for the next few levels pretty straightforward. Is this where I came in? No, it's not where I came in. Rage power up. Don't see any use for it once again. Lasers work for everyone! Oh, fuck. I blew myself up. Again! A bad tendency to do that! Really wish uh, I had something more interesting to say about this, but I mean, a maze is a maze is a maze. You guys just kind of appear. Whatever. Kind of in the end game here. So, uh, I've learned a few things um, over the course of this LP. Because, you know, what better to talk about? Little things like technical stuff, and then, you know. How to keep things flowing. Well, <laughs> not very well since I die so much, but ideally how to keep things flowing. And I've definitely learned to maybe stick with smaller games. At least for if you're going to do your first LP and just to general anyone listening, you should definitely try to go with something. Uh, Small and something you're probably familiar with. Blind LP, I guess, isn't really the best way to start. But, you know, you, you don't learn these things until you try. Ah, oh, fuck. Frozen. 
and shake the stick. Oh, I think I pressed the Cheshire button. But yeah. So stick with something you know a lot better. And definitely something short because uh, this game definitely feels like it's dragging on. It might just be because it doesn't really seem to be varying very much. I mean, yeah, the combat's a little bit different. We've got newer weapons, you know, but otherwise it's still, you know, platform, kill a bunch of enemies so that you can platform to kill more enemies. And even the boss fights are pretty straightforward. It's just hit a guy, hit a guy until he's dead. Which... I guess is just a sign of, you know, when this game was made. Back before boss fights were kind of becoming the intricate thing that they are sometimes now. The guy was floating, what the hell? Okay, we've gone in a very, very large circle, and now we're back at these two. I think this is definitely one of those games that's better served in concept, or rather, sounds better in concept than it does in execution. Because yeah, you know, take, even though it's kind of become the thing now, but take a classical fantasy uh, children's story and put a dark twist on it, and then, you know, see what you end up with. I mean, it's almost like the general Tim Burton-ization of things, you know. He always tries to go with lighthearted but dark. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm back up here. Which is kind of how this game comes across. But it feels like sometimes they're trying to do too much with the concept. There's a portal here, but it probably doesn't work for some reason. Oh, those guys weren't there a second ago. It feels like the enemy spawns are like a little bit delayed in this level. Because they never seem to spawn really in front of me so much as turn around and, oh look, there's a bunch of guys following you now, what the hell? But yeah, fragmented design. Oh, what the? Now this is just ridiculous. I think I just got hit like five times in a row. That was silly. That was definitely not really expected, but whatever. If I want to throw gangbangs at me, I can deal with them eventually. Also, I'm going to try something a little bit different on them this time. Just clear these guys out of the way. That does a shit ton of damage. Holy crap. And I'm hoping for the sequel to this game, they definitely, you know, try to branch it out more, which they de they can right now because of the technology compared to when this game was released. So it definitely has the potential to be better than this game. We're gonna try... Oh, this is gonna kill me. definitely didn't work at all. Uh, I'm fairly sure that even if I kill all these enemies on the other side of this archway, there's not going to be anything useful there. But we won't know until we find out. So let's try out our other toy that I kind of forgot to use. Notice it has a red reticle rather than a blue one. No doubt indicating its death inflictingness. I've got too many things to scroll through now. First let's get these banshees out of the way. So just a distraction. Let's 
definitely more efficient to get rid of them with the jacks than it is to use the ice wand. Alright. Now with them out of the way. Pull up this. Oh god, not another one. Getting in my way, Banshee. Come here. Excellent. <sighs> just want to fire this thing. Alright. Oh, they all just spawned in, too. Huh. Uses all my magic, but it also obliterates them. And it didn't even explode and kill me like my airstrike does. All in all, I'd say it's a pretty good weapon. like there's nothing but a curved texture out there. Ah. Ow. Oh. Why do you gotta portal tease me? What's this thing? Press that. Ah. Ah. Now we have to find that little bastard child and drag him back here. Hey, look, it's that portal that didn't do anything. Jacks are doing their job. Oh, why is there a card soldier behind me? Don't want to explode. I never understand when game designers decide, hey, let's put a labyrinth level in. Because you know what players love? Running around in circles, having no idea where to go. I mean, it'd be one thing if it's like, oh, well, the maze represents Alice's confusion with herself or something. But no, it's just, hey, we need a maze to, to drag this game out a bit longer. I cannot think of a simple exa uh, simple single example where there was a game with a maze level that was, oh, man, you remember that maze level? Wasn't that awesome? You know? Also, this is dragging it out even more because now I have to find a child after already getting to the end of the level, and drag him back to the end of the level. So I have to go through this entire maze again, and fight all these enemies again. Which is just not good design. I've yet to figure out if this rage power-up makes all your weapons do more damage, or just the knife. I'm thinking it's all because of when I tried it with the croquet mallet. But I may be wrong. Oh, it didn't work at all. Thanks, game. Wasn't bad enough that I had to fight five guys in front of me. You had to throw a bunch of card soldiers up behind me. It does seem to be freezing them faster than it would otherwise. But yeah, maze levels are no fun. They're right up there with water levels. I'm pretty sure that there's going to be at least one more water level, if not two, in this game. Simply because we never really got good use out of that turtle shell power-up. And I still don't know what it does. I'm just guessing it lets you hold your breath longer. This game's getting very monster closety all of a sudden. Now, previously they were just kind of, you know, enemies were in set locations, but now they're just kind of popping into existence. Mm, have I looked down here yet? I don't think so. Right over his head. Ok, 
Okay, this gate doesn't look like it's openable ever, so let's ignore it. And continue searching this maze for a child. Oh, I think I heard him. Card soldiers don't mess around with their eldritch magic. Hey, look, there he is. I hope it's not an escort fucking section. Because that is just the worst thing. looks kind of escorty. He's not just going where he has to be. Now I have to try to find that exit again. Shut up, you. I think I've already seen a larger concentration of enemies in this level than I have in any other level in the rest of the game. Like, they're pretty much just out of ideas now because they're just throwing packs of enemies at you. Okay. Found my way back to the portal. From here, it shouldn't be too. So I have half my health there. It looked like he took some damage from that, which has unfortunate implications, but of course I can just go through this portal again. Uh, I think it was down through here. Yeah, this is where all those guys were earlier. See how many enemies just spawned right there? They're not fucking around here. So they basically decided to play dirty here, and they're just gonna throw another huge pack of enemies at me. Rather than any sort of legitimate challenge. Which is fine, because we have a weapon that just cuts through people like butter. seem to have set him on purple fire. I think these both go the same way. Yes, they do. To the end of the portal. Go. Where did he go? Come on, you little shit. Even in video games, I can't stand children. Get over here, damn it! The gravity tether or something to drag him towards me. Come on. I have a feeling he's gonna try to follow me into that portal. No? Okay, I don't have the freeze in place then. Well, I'm guessing this is the end of that awful, awful labyrinth level. Hope you enjoyed my rantiness. And see you next time in, uh, 
Airborne Terror, which Jabberwocky maybe? See ya.